You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. You know, at this point, I have to ask you about the Aryan invasion theory, yeah. right? Which is a very controversial topic on the hmm. internet because people feel very strongly about it because there is a lot of colonial anger. Yeah. I feel most of India really hates the British. Yeah, uh, it's true because it's colonial. Uh, but one thing we all should know that it's no longer exist. So why are you getting angry? As in, it's been disproved. It's been disproved long back, long back. Aryan invasion because there's no archaeological proof for invasion. God. So okay, this is the final say by an archaeologist. Yeah, there's no proof of invasion. And on what basis were Britishers telling us? See what they said. I tell you. So let's just go back a few. a couple of decades right yeah. when people started digging up places and started finding evidence so uh, the people who actually initially initiated this were the british officers right of course later on uh, they trained indian archaeologists and you know i'm sitting because of that training that has happened uh, back in you know 1940s 30s 20s that has happened uh, but what what they were trying to do is they were trying to uh, fill in the gaps what they thought that the written text is what you know the date that is given as per the sanskrit literature is is where and also alexander's invasion is where the history of india begins that was the initial perspective right that was before the excavation of harappa people thought that it the country's uh, the history starts with the invasion of alexander and then comes the ashokan empire but what did they think was before alexander Not thing we were all barbaric so an invader has to come and have <laughs> to teach us the way of life okay because that is what they were doing no they were trying to project that only the british empire or the colonial officers were trying to say that only that they are civilized and we are barbarics okay. right okay. that is what churchill has said that indians missed the bus of civilization right is his mm. famous quote that he has given uh, very publicly but what he didn't know that we had the older civilization which was uncovered by the very british official officers themselves and the indian archaeologists who were leading the excavations mm. uh, at harappa and then at mohenjodaro so before that before the harappa's excavation which was which began on 15th of uh, 5th of january 1921 uh, that excavation changed the game because now uh the antiquity or the chronology of indian history was pushed back to uh 2003 3rd millennium bc hmm. was not pushed back from alexander's invasion supposed invasion it uh, it went back to you know uh, the earlier civilization which now put us on the map with the civilizations of uh, egypt and mesopotamia hmm. right so it this happened about 100 years ago uh in 1921 to 1924 24th september is when john marshall uh, publicly announces that india has found its missing civilization which puts india at the map uh, uh of the old world civilizations right and hence forth we have excavated hundreds of sites and we now know it's one of the biggest civilizations in the old of the old world right so the perspective was how how it did it change right where people first thought that the the indians their history starts only with alexander now suddenly after harappa's excavation the history was pushed back to 3rd millennium bce right mm. before that there were hunter gatherers that was known hunter gatherers were known they were worried they were bothered about when the civilized history starts yeah which is not hunter gathering history which is more into you know big structures this that and all of that thing so now they know the civilized history starts about in you know, a 3rd millennium bce and then slowly steadily this excavation work started happening and more harappan sites came uh, uh, into the picture and the evidence came to the picture but then what happened was uh we found out archaeologists found out that about 1500 bce this civilization dies down okay so from 1500 to the next culture which was a painted grave culture which was 1100 1000 bce between this time period 400 years what happened 500 years 4 500 years what happened how come 
a civilization which was so skilled and you know so advanced and was so rich culturally socially and all of that dies down due to x y z reasons and the next culture is coming up at 1100 bce so to fill that gap comes in the picture of invasion because the text says that the invasion or you know arians were the ones who led the second you know uh, urbanization and they are the ones who immersed the culture so their people started playing the gap in the archaeological data and started filling in that harappans did not disappear due to environmental crisis or any other crisis but an invasion happened that killed people and then they the invaders were the ones who came settled and they are responsible for this the next urban mm. urban because that urban uh, the second urbanization was much more advanced which was this you know rise of magadh and all mm. these republics so they're like you know see earlier they were just you know town planners and all these people were pushed down or you know invaders came so they ran down to south and then there was a blank so the aryans were the one responsible for the cultures the emergence basically saying north indians are descendants of europeans and south Settle indians Asians. are yes they they are the Uh, Harappan descendants. So mm. this is where the Aryan invasion theory came to play because there was a gap in not history but archaeological culture. So what have? How did that gap get filled? Gap got filled because we know that no Harappan sites were raided by inda- in, uh, invaders. Because we've not because found there, weapons. Because there is no evidence. Yes, there is no weapons. There is no mark of any invasion. And there are marks of invasions in archaeology. Yeah, we can find. Okay. See, because when we are excavating, we are not idiots. <laughs> you know, people think that you know. Um, like we can't understand something and it's not there but archaeologist job is to pick these small small evidence and to test them we can very well understand if there is an invasion happened or not okay. right we can very well understand if there was a war or not we can very well understand that there was earthquakes that destroyed a city or a fire that destroyed a city we work in with such principles and methodologies backing us that we can very well identify these things okay um so again what what's your conclusive thing about what happened in that 400 year period people just so migrated so slowly when we you know when this theory came up and then the with archaeology developed sites being excavated the data started filling in so eventually when the data was filled in people realized that there is no invasion it's just one theory that was put forward put forth and now if you test it it does not stand a chance so there was no aryans who invaded the subcontinent so therefore that theory got dis, uh, like discontinued this was disregarded long back but what replaced that theory was a migration theory the aryan migration theory so uh, since there was no weapon there was no other sign of war or any invasion people who propounded the invasion theory initially Changed his stance and said, "Ki look, okay, fine. There was no invasion, right? I we understand. There is no weapon. There is nothing. But what is there? There is a new culture coming. So invasion, no, but migration happened. So at a particular period, a migration has happened, and they are the ones who are responsible for the emergence of culture, which is the second urbanization and so forth, right? But my stance, personally, if you talk about." if i talk about my particular opinion um, people are migrating all the time mm. harappans migrated they went all the way to mesopotamia egypt and settled the community uh, you know settlements also over there because they were trading you know mm. they migrated people from other places must have migrated marital alliances work wise etc the migration is an ongoing process we ourselves are the species of migration mm. you know because our own species migrated out of africa so you cannot deny that there was no migration what i don't like or uh, approve of defining or putting in this time bracket that in this particular time bracket people have migrated and because there was nobody on the landscape they migrated and they changed the indigenous culture and indigenous people adopted that particular culture and they let go of their own culture and that adopted culture sort of led to the 
better civilization better civilization because it's a way of saying white people were needed to make your civilization less barbaric and yeah, more advanced yeah and in this you don't find any uh, conclusive archaeological proof okay. either right so for me i at times feel that's very it's a constructed identity so the whole theory that the north indian especially uh, there's a central asian migration that happened and they are because central asians are the ones who who are the ones who the rigvedic people they migrated and they gave us the rigveda but then the question that i ask is they gave us the rigveda and they forgot rigveda themselves mm. right yeah, there and must I, have been some rigvedic the continuity there also yeah. there has to be right because you don't forget you don't forget the thing these things if we are still following a lot of vedic traditions mm you know if if fun has to go with this theory if you adopted this yeah. still you, you know the one the one thing i'm trying to actually learn more through the podcast is the parallels between indian culture ancient indian culture by which i mean vedic culture and ancient zoroastrian culture because there are some similarities and it's very interesting it's like yeah. uh, basically in our stories Asuras are the villains, hmm. and Devas are the heroes. Hmm. And in their stories, Ahuras are the heroes, and Daivya is the villain. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. So, so it could have just been two warring tribes, which yeah. painted the other tribe as the villain. See, you have to also understand that the world was not living in isolation like the way we think. Yeah, that it, it wasn't just cities which are far apart from each other. And don't yeah. know anything. They they knew about each other. They knew, of course, they knew. You look at Harappan sites; they're spread all across Gulf also, yeah. Makran, because they are. We're yeah. taking the ship all the way to Egypt and yeah. Mesopotamia. Also, with Mohsen Raza Khan, we did an episode about the history of religion, where he spoke about how even Islam is influenced from religions that existed before Islam. Like when we speak about Sufism, it was inspired by practices that were there before Sufism actually became a thing. Any world religion or philosophy is inspired from something that came before it. Yeah. So, for all you know, even the Zoroastrianism and Vedic thing came from some other source belief from way before. for which maybe we even lost archaeological evidence yeah we might not have found archaeological evidence but if we not find direct archaeological evidence we will find indirect okay. evidence right so one needs to keep uh, looking at it and not push narrative okay. that's what i would say because the other side of it the one side is the oh, the, the people who are pushing this narrative of migration because they say the people who push the narrative of migration they say there is not just one migration there are waves of migration that happen mm. but the on the other side is uh, they say that from here to there migrated and we are the ones who are responsible for their culture now both sides are extreme mm. we need to understand in history and archaeology there are shades of gray nothing yeah. is ever black and white yeah. you need to take your emotions out of a subject if you actually yeah, want to understand the subject of course 100% 100% otherwise you can't uh, yeah. do justice new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe